Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 535. My name is Ajay Pamar and you are watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pamar where you can find 535 videos on Excel, Excel VBA access and access VBA and also the Outlook VBA, the recent, the playlist we started, right? So guys, um, uh, I am going to actually now start a conditional formatting series to, to make you pretty awesome in the conditional formatting. Uh, which is the very very most important ingredient you know in the excel we use uh, 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 to 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 make the report quite efficient in terms of its visualization and also in terms of you know making your managers uh, 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 looking at looking at the reports from the analysis you know perspective uh, they are very powerful right so anybody who is looking at the uh, the numbers when you give them their colors like green red you know different different if you are making the targets um, if your targets are achieved then the green ones if your targets are not achieved then the red ones you know so sort of that conditional formatting is always a very handy it's a very useful option right and it helps you a lot in uh, looking at the data even if the data is very very big with the use of the conditional formatting with the kind of the right you know the trends you can show uh, it, it's very easy for somebody to understand your data so in the part number one we're going to talk about how to create the arrows okay now let's let's go and talk about that but I just want to take your 10 seconds this is the playlist sequence in front of you if you're looking for the learning on this channel on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA and the outlook part right so these are all the playlists and this is how you should watch the videos this is this is a sequence we have got 48 uh, 50 playlists around okay on this channel so go and have fun now what I'm going to talk about today in this video is that if you look at this, uh, this is the month on month birth population and this is the trend which we're going to actually learn in this video how we have done it right. Now if you look at this, um, uh, this is comparing to the previous month value right. So if you look at here, this is actually going down because in the Jan you have the birth population is 1000 right. So in the Feb we, we, we have re reduced it right. We fell by 800 margin so that's why you see this uh, a down arrow. And similarly from the 200 then you further you know rose up to 400 right which is again the increment right from the previous value so this is how the comparison happening and for the if just in case if you get the same uh, the the value for two months the previous and the next month as you can see here in the november and the october guys so you see this equals to sign as well i mean uh, it actually this particular uh, sign says that it's nowhere right it's absolutely equal so both the month's output is equal right so this is just a dummy data obviously but you can use this technique in your own um, the reports as well right so let us go and learn this now obviously month and pop birth population guys this is something I have just written it right you don't have to do anything here now how to make the trend this is something very important for us okay so I uh, what I do is um, I simply go and delete this let's start from the uh, the, the scratch now the first thing which you need to do is uh, you need to set up the, the you know some numbers here using the formula for example uh, keeping the first value as black we will go in the second value over here okay and now you will write the formula here now because it is all about the comparison because using the comparison only you can show the trend right so now you will compare the, this value with the previous value right so we will say that if the previous if this is this the current month the current month value is greater than the previous month value then show it as 2 okay now this can be any any number guys that you need to think right uh, once the uh, once uh, we will start uh, going in the conditional formatting column and you know we will start using these numbers you will understand the logic right now i'm just uh, picking up the number 2 so there is no point of uh, writing here 2 uh, you know uh, specifically i'm writing here 2 there's no there's, there's no uh, in specific reason I'm just writing 2 because I think that's how I can do it I can do the comparison right so I'm gonna make 0 1 2 series so if this number is greater than this then it this is this means that we uh, we are incrementing you know we have um, uh, if I compare it uh, with the previous month then we have basically jumped jumped up right so for that I'm gonna show it as 2 now if this is not 2, let's say if this is not greater than this, then the next thing which I will do is, I will simply say that if this value, 
okay if this value is equals to this value if both are equal then i just want to show it as zero okay now if this is not equal then that means obviously this is going to be less than the previous value okay because you have already compared the greater we are already seeing that d4 is greater than d3 so if d4 is not greater than d3 and d4 and d3 are not equal then obviously that means you know d4 is less than the d3 so in that case i'm just going to show it as one so now this is the formula which you need to build over here okay you just track the formula over here okay now you can see that formula over here this is the formula so remember that uh, for obviously for equals to i'm just using you know zero and for for the greater which means that for the increment uh, if i compare it with the previous one uh, we are using two and for the lesson we are using one right this is the logic actually this is a kind of a logic we are building over here okay now once you have uh, uh, once you have made this combination and you can you know obviously go and cross check before you write the conditional formatting it's always uh, good to do the things to avoid the rework now if you look at this this is coming as one obviously uh, this is correct because as i said that you can see here that for less than the less than means that from if, if you do the comparison between these two values uh, the previous value is greater than the current value then this should be one right so you have the two 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 everywhere because here from the 400 we are jumping to 780 jumping in the upward direction you know and then we are still again moving up by 1000 1100 and so on right so if i just go and say that 77 you see that this is going to be one because after 1100 you are actually um, you're reducing you know you started reducing so that's what you need to take care of and if you look at these two numbers this is both are equal october and november performance so we have a zero here so the idea is the formula is working now if the formula is working then i just simply go and uh, use the condition formatting which is very easy you select the entire range uh the pre the first cell obviously need need not to be touched because that's the way we are starting so you go to the condition formatting and click on the manage rules now when you click on the manage rules uh, we will go in the new rule and in the new rule we will you know use this option format all cells based on their values so when you do that you can use the icon different different icon sets over here now this option is available in the in, in the 2007 uh, and the 2007 onward versions if by chance you're using 2003 i you will not be able to use this okay but i hope nobody is using 2003 because it's 15 years back very you know uh, outdated now excel so if you if you are using it but let's say please guys upgrade to the latest one 2010 2013 or 16 right because that's really a great fun so now i go and check out uh, all these different, different icons so the icon which i planned actually to go for is this one for the trends okay so i use this now when you select that automatically your icons will come here guys okay now this is very simple so the first thing it says is that um, when the value is greater than what so you know the value has to be greater than one uh, to show the the trend you know to show the trend of um, uh, this the, the increment if there is an increment so you're going to put here one make sure you uh, put here you know instead of the person you keep this as a number so once you do that you click outside now when you click outside this automatically changes to when less than zero so now we are seeing that uh, so I, I just go and change this you know this icon over here because i want to first of all show the um, downward trend so from here i'm just going to use this red down okay so now this says that if the value is less than zero and greater than what right so i'm saying that if it is great if, if it is less than zero and uh, you know the greater than greater than actually uh, it should be uh, zero and this should be actually this changed uh, i think first of all let's go quickly and change that everything to the number i go back here uh, this is again zero although i use the two over here because now that makes the sense so now you are saying that if your value is greater than two this upward icon will come and guys if you are greater than and equals to one and less than two that means if you have an answer called one then we will show this as a you know in the downward direction right so this is how you can use this right now look at this this is very important for you if you're less than one if you're less than one then that means uh, it has to be zero so what do you want to do you you can show this yellow dash like this 
So this this has to be in a proper sequence. Try to understand the thing. After converting everything into a number, this should go as a story. Story which which has a starting point, which has an ending point, right? Now if you look at this, we, what we are saying, we are saying that if you're less than one. Which, which means that zero, you know, or any negative number also, but negative number we are not using in a formula, you can see that. We just said zero, right? So that means this is going to, going to show as this icon, right? Equal icon in the same, uh, you can see that. Now, when this is between, I won't say between because this is less than two, but if this is greater than one and less than two, greater than equals to one and less than two, so what would be the value? If you see, if you are if you are saying that uh, I'm greater than n equals to one but less than two, then obviously it should be one only. It can be 1.2, 1.3, 1.5, but that's you know according to the formula that will not work here because we are just using three numbers, zero, one, and two. So greater than equals to one, less than two. Obviously this is the value which will come. Okay, and then finally we are saying guys that if the value is greater than two, then let's have this icon, right? Greater than equals to remember greater than equals to means what is two. So you know this two will come only for the upward trend, right? So I think we are done with that. Now the very important thing is that um, because you don't want to show these numbers over here, because right now if you just go and press OK, you will have and you press apply, you know, you start getting the numbers also. You start getting the trend also, but at the same time you have these numbers one, two, 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 which is obviously going to add the confusion. It's going to add the confusion in the user's mind, uh, in your manager's mind, you know, whose server is looking at the report. So we don't actually want to show the numbers over here. So you just, uh, w what you need to take care of it, when, you, when you're making this rule, please make sure that you should only show the icons only, right? I don't want the reverse, otherwise I can also reverse this order, right? So show icon only. So I just click OK and now I'm going to click apply and now look at this guys. So finally you have your icons coming but the numbers are not coming though the formula is there you can see in the formula bar the formula is there the numbers are coming because obviously be, because of the numbers you know you are able to see something here if i just go and delete the number from here my condition formatting will also be removed right so basically these icons are working on your combination which you have created in your formula this formula okay but yes we don't have to show those numbers because that's for our own internal understanding so that's why uh, whatever 0 1 2 is coming let's not show that so show icon you need to make sure that should be check marked now you can see that this is the 770 output coming right so if you go and further and say 1000 you see that this should change so it's changing is it guys right so similarly if you just go and let's say you you have a fall of 300 from 770 in the November month this is showing the downward trend right so it looks very uh, you know uh, awesome it looks very very uh, sophisticated uh, because these arrows are very very easy to understand and that is why I was saying that uh, condition formatting we used to make the you know data look very easy in terms of understanding it and doing the analysis now just imagine if you just don't have this column over here how hard it is for me or you for anyone to basically check the trend right so we have to I don't know I even don't want to talk about it because this is very difficult going by every cell and check doing the comparison with the you know previous cell no that's not the good way guys that's really not the good way so that's how you, you can use the conditional formatting and um, I will be uh, uploading more videos on the conditional formatting as we have started this conditional formatting series so that you can use in you know all these uh, tricks in your MRS so thank you so much for watching guys and uh, I'll see you soon in my next video bye bye